What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Dark Horse Roaring. Today we've got another follow along workout. Why? Because you love them, because we love making them, and because we have exactly 30 minutes to get this thing from beginning to end and get you a great workout. What's up guys and welcome back to another follow along workout. This one is going to be interesting. I'm giving myself a very strict time schedule to get this workout done from warm up to drill to workout and done in 30 minutes. Giving myself that cap. So let's put that timer on the clock and let's see if we can get it done. Before I do, make sure that you have your phone or your iPad handy set up next to your machine or that your machine is ready. You've got a little bit of floor space on the ground for the warm up as well as your machine ready to go. Let's get this 30 minutes on the clock. Boom. Boop. All right, 30 minute countdown has started. Now, today's workout is going to start with what one of my favorites um, is the perfect stretch. That's going to be on the floor. Next, we're going to go into a little of a downward dog with some leg pedals. Then we're going to go into a seated hinge on the floor, practicing the hinge of the body. Then we're going to go to a standing hinge, practicing the hinge again from a standing position. Then we're going to take it to the machine. We're going to drill arms and body only for two minutes. That's going to be yet another hinge drill. Basically, if you can't tell, the purpose of the warm up today is to get you comfortable moving back and forth, isolating the hips so that they learn to move independently, not always with the arms and not always with the legs, that they, le that they learn to move independently. Finally, the workout is going to be 20 minutes. 20 minutes, and you are going to, every five minutes, step up the intensity. What we're gonna do is, for, for the first five, well, for the entire 20, it's gonna be 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, and then every five minutes, we bump up the intensity. Stroke rate's gonna stay nice and low, so you'll follow me on the stroke rate, and all we're gonna do is practice pushing a little bit harder every five minutes. So that by the final five, we're working pretty hard. All right, let's get into it. Touch your butt on the wall. If you can do that easily, 
Step away a little bit further. Reach back. Good, without bending your spine. Just holding at the hips. Do 10 of those. set up, I want you to go to the main menu, select workout, new workout, intervals or intervals time depending on the age of your monitor, and you're going to set time as 30 seconds, and set rest time as 30 seconds. You'll then hit the check mark, strap in, and we're going to get ready to go. Remember, first five minutes, nice and easy, just follow along with my stroke rate. Ready? Go.
out up to a 22. Going up to a 22 for this next set. Ratchet the intensity up on this one. I want you to be breathing heavy after each round here. So make sure you go for it. Don't, don't hold back now. You're welcome to use those first two to kind of warm up into it. But here's where I want the work to start happening. 22.
currently on a 143.6. I do not expect you to be there. If you are, great. Five more minutes, which means only two and a half minutes of work. Stroke right up to a 24 this time. So up two beats, keep getting faster every round. Going in three seconds. four rounds left. How much can you push? Only four of 20 left. You can do a ton of work in this time. Do not start easing off the throttle. Focus on consistency, good rock of the hips, good press of the legs. Here we go. Two, one. My goal the, when I'm done is to be in the 137s or possibly below. That feels like a lot of work, but I know that it's possible. You guys know that it's possible too. Push hard here. You only have three left. 24, stick with me on stroke rate. Two, one. What are you at? And make sure you go faster. Two left. Do not take the stroke right out. Think about bracing harder, pushing harder. I gotta break 138 on this one to stay on track. 24 still, five seconds. Two, one. Last one, empty the tanks. Don't worry about what you have after this. You have everything to what you've got now. 10 seconds till we go. I'm gonna break 136 into the 135s on this one. Just for you guys. Let's do it together. Three, two, one.
135.0, but I was low on the stroke rate. My apologies. I was at 23 there instead of 24. I hope you stuck with me though. That was a fantastic workout. Thank you for joining me. I'm gonna go for a little cool down spin. You're welcome to join me and just row it out and then we'll wrap this whole thing up. So let's just take a couple minutes. Let's call it two. Let's take the damper setting all the way down and just light spin with me. Focus on your mechanics. Don't worry about your split. Focus on pressing your whole foot into the foot stretcher. I'm at a 230 right now. I expect you to be that or slower. Your goal is just to move while you're tired, focus on mechanics. recoveries right now. Being tired is the best time to practice your drills. Because all those muscles that have to work hard and make you work during the piece, they're all tired right now. Meaning they're not going to overpower. And that gives you time to think about your technique. Let the little muscles do the work. Thank you so much for joining me during this workout. If you loved it, I mean, if you enjoyed it, got some value out of this workout, I would really appreciate it if you would share this video. Send it to your friends. Send it to those people that you know could use a little bit of guidance. They could use just a little bit of motivation, something to help them along. That's really what these workouts are for, is to give you guys the push to feel comfortable and to feel like you've got a place to go when you don't know what to do with this machine. I love all of you. I thank you so much for following along with everything that we do. We love putting these out. If you guys enjoyed this, please share it, subscribe. If you really love it, hit that bell. That makes sure that you get notified every time we come out with a new workout. And guys, as always, thank you, and we will see you on the other side.